This is the world's fastest Super Mario Bros. speedrun. Yes! Yes! And this is me. This is pretty easy. Oh, never mind. Wait, 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 give me one more chance. I'll get it this time. Wait, what? Trust me, I'm beating this level right now. Wait, what? Where did that Goomba come from? Obviously, I suck at the game, but I don't suck at coding. So this video, I literally won't stop coding until I make an AI that beats the game. And trust me, this video literally won't end until the AI hits a speedrun record. Now, the first step is to remake the entirety of Super Mario Bros from scratch. So I'm just doing the normal game developer stuff. You know, watching tutorials, stealing assets, plagiarizing code, and killing, wait, what's this? So it turns out, I just wasted the last three hours of my life because some goons at OpenAI have already remade a Mario environment for me. So, I guess I'm just gonna... Yoink! Now, all I have to do is sprinkle some AI magic and... It's me, Mario! Never mind, that did not work. So you might be wondering, Kosh, why isn't it working? Basically, Mario is addicted to hardcore drugs. See, the algorithm I'm implementing is called Proximal Policy Optimization, also known as PPO, which is actually one of the algorithms used to train ChatGPT. But it looks more scary than it actually is. See, think of PPO as a parent, and the Mario AI as a little baby that we want to teach to exterminate the entire race of Goombas. So we toss the child Mario into the game, and the child starts taking random actions. It'll jump, run, jump and run, do nothing, etc. But whenever the child does something bad, the parent pulls out its belt and... But when the child does something good, oh boy, it gets the dopamine rush of a lifetime. And the child updates its mindset or decision-making algorithm to get more drugs, like the little drug addict he is. So right now, Mario is rewarded for going as far right as he can, because the flag is always on the right, but there's a pipe blocking him. So what happens is he gets a smidgen of drugs and then hits his head against the pipe, bouncing him back, so he gets spanked and then goes back in for more drugs, and does this again and again and again. That reminds me of my childhood. Alright, so I changed Mario's reward function. Now, Mario gets rewarded for his velocity, or speed, especially if it's rightwards, because the flag is always on the right. I also, obviously, punish Mario for dying, but he also gets punished for living too long. For every second Mario stays alive, he receives a negative punishment, which incentivizes him to finish the level as fast as possible. Now, this was only 5 iterations of training. Let's double it. It's me, Mario! Why is it stuck? Wait, is it working? Wait... Never mind. Okay, so the AI is making progress. It learned to get past the first pipe. The question now is, if we give it more time to train, can it go further? Alright, the AI model has been training for 30 minutes. Let's see if it improved. Wait, it learned to jump over pipes? It's about to beat the whole level. Wow. This is really good. <sighs> Never mind. On the bright side, the AI did learn to jump over pipes. So, I'm giving it one more hour of training and... Let's go! That was a time of 3.45, meaning the AI beat the level in under a minute. That's gotta break a speedrun record or something. Let me check. Okay... I feel like the AI goes this fast too. Wait, what? What is this? Huh? Wait, I never knew there was a shortcut. What? 3.69? 
All right, well, the AI is never going to be able to do a skip like that. See, I didn't give it down as an input, because the more inputs there are, the longer the AI takes a train. And you need to press down to enter a pipe. So it might not ever be able to reach speedrun pace. All right, we're now training the AI on level 1-2. And I left the model running for the past 3 hours, so it's at 320 iterations and I haven't tested the AI at all. Alright, well it's a lot better than I imagined. Okay, I'm gonna tweak these hyperparameters, train the AI for 5 more hours, and... Yo, it's actually speedrunning! Wow, this is amazing. That was insane. After this frame perfect dodge, the AI then styles on us with this backwards jump waiting for the prana plant to go down, and then styles on us again with another backwards jump for literally no reason. Okay, I've been analyzing the AI's performance against the world record speedrun. Last level, the AI was 24 seconds away from reaching the world record. This level, it's only 15 seconds away. We're literally almost there, I can feel it. Now, there's a big problem aside from the AI acting kinda weird. I'm running out of money. Each time I train Mario, I have this expensive GPU running in the background. And now, I only have the budget for two more levels. So I picked the two without any shortcuts to see if we can reach speedrun pace. The first level is 5-2, and this is the AI at 440 iterations. Whoa! It's going so fast. Oh, never mind. After hours of relentless training, our AI is now at 2100 iterations. Let's see how much it improved. Yes! 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 Let's go! Wait, what was the time? 347? That's insanely fast. Wait, 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 wait. What's the speedrun record for this level? Okay. I feel like the AI goes this fast too. No way. 347! Yes! It hit the speedrun record! Let's go! Remember when the AI was getting stuck at all these places and how I ran out of money? Well, it turns out it's because this one line of code was completely wrong, so... 